Okay, this is the Tronixy 802M, the P802M. It's a uh, prints I use uh, approximately 200 by 200 millimeters. Uh, it has a pretty good uh, frame, acrylic frame. It uh, does take quite a while to assemble because you assemble everything where the printers I've shown in earlier videos that I have the metal frame printers go together a lot faster um, so this one does take a while to put together I have approximately uh, 14 of this particular printer so I can configure them and set them up and I know what to expect out of them so a uh, print based on that as you can see, it can take four of this particular part I've been showing you with other printers. Uh, however, this would be a 24-hour print job right here if I ran those. So you'd be running the printer continuously for 24 hours. And it comes with a portable uh, holder for the uh, filament spool. It takes up quite a bit of space so you have to take all of that into consideration they have been uh, these printers been running pretty good for me uh, especially when you figure the uh, cost I feel like I got a pretty good deal on these printers I found them on eBay as I mentioned I purchased my fr first printer last December and then not long after that I saw these advertised on eBay for $45, excuse me, $85. So for $85, I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I purchased one, um, put it together the day I got it. It worked fine. So I went ahead and purchased about a dozen more. So now I have 14 of these. And uh, for, the, for the price, you can't beat it. So sometimes it's uh, uh, you can get a pretty good deal uh, buying, saving some money on a printer. I've found a couple others around that same time period that were also in that eighty-five to ninety dollar price range, and I purchased some of those. Not very many because the first couple that I got in, um, they're not made out of acrylic they're made out of that press board and I found out the press board even though I could get them working it's uh, just a little too flimsy it's just not as well constructed so anyway I can print multiple parts on this printer if I want to go for a long period um, this is an actual part that I do print on it and you can see it takes almost all of the capacity and this part takes approximately 12 hours to print so uh, by the way this is the largest part that I'm printing now uh, for new tech inventors so um, I can print with several of these printers running if I have eight or ten of them dedicated to this one part in a 24-hour period you know I can print two dozen uh, of this particular part so that's that's where these come in handy and any of the mid-size printers that I have the smaller del the Delta printers and the King room printers that I print a lot with they can do fine with uh, some of the smaller parts and multiples of those but they there are several parts that they can't print and obviously this is one of them because it's about 190 by 190. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit about another printer that I'm using. And again, uh, I'll be showing you how this printer operates when, with it actually in operation.